Today I'm going to show you some of the quirks and features of one of my favorite small form factor computer cases. It's been on my list for a while now and I think it's well worth a look. I'm talking of course about the Lok Ghost S1 Mark III. Now one of the most iconic features of this case is the use of slide out panels. The way they interlock with the front and back panels creates this cohesive shell. There are no ugly rails or support structures that hold everything together. Form follows function, and this design makes efficient use of the 8.2 liters of volume available. Serving as an interesting accent piece, we have the GPU riser cable, which has been updated for the Mark III version of the Ghost. The IKEA blue color is certainly striking, and as far as I'm aware, this is one of the very few reliable 4.0 riser cables out there. There's a lot of attention to detail in the design of this case, like, for example, the decision to use Torx screws instead of the usual Phillips head. The engraved rag tag is present in the Mark III version as well. It's made out of vegan leather, and it has a logo on one side and the Swedish flag on the other. For me, a highlight of the Mark III is its material finish. It's really hard to compare it to anything else. It's finer than the anodizing on something like a MacBook, but at the same time, it's somewhat powdery to the touch. The version I have here is the limestone, which I would best describe as a matte silver. One of the downsides, however, of such a small case is its lack of radiator support. And to address that, the case uses modules called hats, which can be stacked either underneath or above. The large hat, for example, allows for a 240mm radiator and fans. There are a variety of ways in which the top hat can be secured to the case. You could even have the top hat side panels slide out just like the main ones. It's definitely not as neat with the top hat installed and some of its minimalism is lost as a consequence. Something that does get old with this case is the number of screws. Especially if you add the top hat or if you plan on transporting the case, there's a total of 12 screws you'd have to remove just to open the system up. I won't go into details about how the Ghost S1 does in terms of thermal performance, as there's plenty of information out there already, but I will do a build in it with my Watercool 3080FE in a future video, so stay tuned for that. One more thing worth mentioning in this video, Loke has been working on a new product, a 12 liter vertical case designed and built in Sweden. While to me it does seem to be a departure from their original design language, there doesn't seem to be any compromise in terms of build quality. Really keeping an eye on this one, and who knows, maybe I'll even take a look at it in a future video. That's it for this one, I plan to have some really interesting content in the coming weeks and months, so if you're interested in that, subscribing would be the way to go. Thanks so much for watching and see you guys later.